I'm talking about Jesus. I'm talking about Jesus Christ and Him crucified. You ask what this is talking about? This is telling you about Jesus Christ and Him crucified. I apologize. I apologize. Have you heard about the message of Jesus Christ? 100%. What do you know about it? I've been saved since I was 12 years old. What are you doing out here? What am I doing out here? Yes. I'm enjoying myself, man. I just got, I just moved out here. Okay, so you've been saved. What does what salvation mean? What does salvation mean? Yeah. To me? Not to you, but what does it mean biblically? What does salvation mean? Yes. I'm not going, I'm not going, I'm not going to uh, misquote salvation, but um, to me, salvation means um, respecting where we are, respecting where we, respecting where we came from and understanding where we're going. Uh, elaborate on that a little bit, please. So with salvation, uh, that means that basically God came here to save us lost souls. And um, I mean, right now, I'm a little drunk. I'm falling short of salvation, but I understand where we came from and I understand where I'm going. Well, this is the thing about salvation, okay? Salvation has come to us by this man, Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. So it's nothing that we, we keep, it's not necessarily we fall short, we don't deserve it. It's not earned. You know what I'm saying? And you have to understand that Jesus came to save you from sin, death, and hell. So salvation is not just understanding your awareness, your aware, awareness of where you're going. It, it is to be in Christ and you, your life, your lifestyle to pass away and you be in Christ. Buried with Christ. That you, your life, your works cease. And the life in Christ now lives in you. That's what salvation is. Salvation is Jesus Christ. Jesus says, you cannot be my disciple, except you first deny yourself. Pick up your cross and follow me. If you are born again, you cannot be out here agreeing with children of darkness. For your Bible says, those who are born again, come out from among them. And be you separate, saith the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you. What happens if, if the Lord said that, come out from among them, be separate, touch not the unclean thing. What is the opposite of that? He said, I will receive you when you turn away, right? What's the opposite of that? The opposite of coming away? Um, the opposite... I'm not going to lie. I don't want to misquote myself because I'm, I, I'm drunk. I'm not of God right now. I'm drunk. Okay, so, so this, is, this is the thing, bro. It doesn't matter if you're drunk or not. Okay? That's not my highlight. My highlight is not that you've been out here drinking. My highlight is, are you truly born again? Old things pass away, and behold, all things become new. Are you truly in Christ? Now, this is what, when you leave, when you go to your own place, I want you to leave here still having an understanding. If you die in your sins, just being transparent and real, you're going to hell. The purpose, well, hear, hear, hear what I'm saying, just hear me, hear me. The purpose of Christ is to save you from hell. So the only way that we can escape the eternal punishment is to abide in Christ. Not to abide in anything else. I understand. Right? Understand. And so this is a free gift. This is something that's offered to you freely. Now you can choose Christ or you can choose the world. Yeah. 100%. I'm saved. I'm saved 100%. By what? I'm saved by Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior. And uh, I'm saved 100%. I've been saved since I was 12 years old. But one thing I do know is that God follows me, God is with me 100% wherever I am, wherever I go. So with me being drunk right now, I understand that and I'll always understand that because that was something that was instilled with, still within me since I was a child. Uh -huh. So even if I'm, I'm a little drunk right now or anything like that, that's something I'll, ever, I'll always understand 100%. Right. So past that, I don't want to waste your waste your time or conversation because I, I like like I said I understand everything you talk about and I understand it and I appreciate you. Right. So you're not wasting my time. I'm not going to put you on mic anymore. You're not wasting my time. But the scripture says, if any man errs from the faith, and one of you convert him from the error of his ways, 
Let him know that he has saved the soul from death and it covered a multitude of sins. If you're a child of light, you can't be walking in darkness. The Lord rebuke you. You can't be walking in darkness. No, no. Because you said the Lord is with you, but the problem is you are not with the Lord. Why is that? Because you are, you have love of the things in this world. The Bible says, if any man love the world, then the love of the Father is not in them. All that's in the world, the lust of the eye, the lust of the flesh, and the pride of life, it's not of the Father, but of this world. You know what I'm saying? In other words, as I told you, and you know it, I don't have to explain it over, over and over again. You know it, you can say what you want with your mouth. But you know where you are according to the Spirit of God. If Christ, the Spirit of God, is not in you, you are none of His. According to the Scripture. But if Christ be in you, the hope of glory, I'm going to say this to you straight out. Examine yourself. To see if you rather, rather you be in the faith or not. Prove your own self. Know you not that Christ died for your sins? And if He died for your sins and you're still walking in it, then you're walking in disobedience. For he didn't die and he didn't suffer for nothing. The Bible says he, he came and he purged us from our sins. That's why the Bible says, let not sin reign in your mortal bodies, that you should obey it in the lust thereof. You hear what I'm saying? That being said, as far as your sins and your iniquities, you know that we ain't got to itemize nothing. Mm -hmm. You know who you are. Yes, sir. Right? And if you're going to be sincere with Christ, be sincere. Don't straddle the fence. Don't be out here on one side. Uh, oh, yeah. Slapping booty. Ooh-wee. Ooh-wee. I want don't, my don't, lady. I want don't. my lady. I want my lady. Are you married? I'm not. Uh, like I said, don't be out here slapping booty and think that God is with you. He's not with you because you're not with him. You can't, you cannot, you cannot walk and functions in the level of your flesh. The Bible says, you cannot be my disciples except you first deny yourself. Pick up your, have your cross on. Do you have your cross, cross on? You have your cross my on. cross is me. I am the cross. You're not the cross. I'm the cross. No, sir. I'm the cross. No, sir. No, sir. I'm a, I'm a God. I'm, a, I'm, I'm walking here among, among, among the earth. You're among, a God? Among people. I'm a God. Yes. You're a God. 100%. The Lord rebuke you. Touch my hand. The Lord rebuke you. The Lord rebuke you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we can all debate from one another and think that we are one thing or another. A lot of us believe that God is with us, but we actively pursue the things that are not of God. God, listen, let me tell you something. Jesus said he would be with them who are with him. That's what he said. All that are with me are gathered together with me. I've been quoting this thing all week. Those who are against me are scattered abroad. 